video on training your kids since I've done lockdown fitness and Harry's been doing it with me. I've had a few parents message me saying, how come Harry's doing it? Is he old enough? I'd like my kids to join in. So it's just a quick video on training your kids and how to do it safely and properly. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Let's get into it. So then, talking about how to train your kids, and if you're anything like me, parent, you wanna be able to do stuff with your kids and know it's gonna be the right thing to do. There's a few main points you need to figure out here. Not overloading your fistful plates, we'll come into that in a sec. Um, limiting the impact as much as possible. Form is absolutely primary, as, in, as with anything. We only really wanna do high reps, and it's a great time to train your kid when they're younger for good habits, good form, good posture, switching on those muscles, making them active and keeping them going for the rest of their life before they get into the bad habits. So really the f fissile plates is, is the main one you want to worry about. And this is where you get the finger if you don't want to stunt your growth by training too early. So at the end of your bones, um, you've got these two little plates and that's where your bone come, grows from here. I've got a picture of this here. So the bone comes from this, this part and it grows outwards. Now, the only time you'd stunt your growth is if you put too much force on those bones on too much of a consistent basis, which stunted the growth. This is only going to happen if you're doing heavy, heavy training like you would with an adult or a power athlete to do five reps or less. OK, as long as you're doing over that, your child will be fine training. All right. In fact, they're going to benefit from it, because if you're playing something, a sport like squash or or tennis, or a long distance runner, or football, or rugby, or whatever it be, but especially when the surfaces are harder. The impacts off the, all the running and all the, all the training can really build up in the joints, and that's where stiffness and injuries can come from. Now, the way you're gonna protect those joints is making the muscles around them stronger and more mobile. So as long as we're training the, the, the kids and stuff, and we're making sure that the form is primary, so they're working the right muscles in the right range of motion, um, and that you're not doing too many reps and overloading them, and that you're basically working them through the range of motion, you're gonna be great and your kid is gonna develop much better. In fact, as a child grows older, they've got the biggest chance of improving their fitness and their posture and their mobility when they're younger. This is because this is when our body has all these hormones, you know, puberty, all the rest of it. Like they're raging with these hormones, which if you put them towards the right thing, i.e. training, their body is gonna develop and progress so much better. This is why you see like these rugby players playing for England who are like six foot two and absolute monsters at like the age of 20. It's because they've been training since 16 and they've got these gains and these developments because their body is growing and they've done the right sort of training to help grow um, and get to where they want to be and get to peak average. Whereas if you started later on at life, it becomes so much harder because you don't have that initial testosterone boost. So, um, which is all completely natural. So yeah, guys, to summarize, um, I would definitely encourage your child to train like I am with Harry doing the lockdown fitness. Um, I would just make sure that the form is primary. I'd make sure you're not doing anything that is low reps and try and limit the amount of jumping around impact on the joints as much as possible. If you do that, your child will only benefit from the proper structured training and it's only gonna help them progress. Uh, any questions, any thoughts on that, please leave a comment below. Um, I hope you find it interesting. If you do, like and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon.